What is up guys, Pro Player Apathy back in the building with another video bringing you guys a live comp today. It's going to be exciting one, going to be using the laser sight on the VMP. Uh, I've been testing it out a lot. A lot of you guys know that European players like to use this. And I mean, it could be really effective at times. Obviously, tax can be helpful as well. Okay, where the hell am I getting? Oh, Gunson, bitch. But today I'm going to be doing live comp about something, a very interesting topic that I felt like I've wanted to talk about for a while. Some of these things I don't like to talk about right away just because I feel like it could be a... Uh, I don't know what the word is, man. I can't... People just, like, might take it way too personal than it really is. And I don't I don't want to ever feel like I'm attacking anyone. And I just saw... I haven't, I haven't done this video yet. But I am going to be going on a little rant today. I'm going to be talking about a lot of things. And some of you guys... Oh, oh, and I later, bitch. Some of you guys might feel the same way I do. Some of you guys may think, what the fuck is Apathy saying? And they're all sniping. But really what I want to talk to you guys today is that you can't win with anybody. With nobody, with anybody, with anything. Like, you never win. And you guys are probably wondering what am I talking about. So I'm going to have to explain pretty in detail for this topic so you guys can understand. And then I'll go a little bit, you know, I'll talk a little bit more about it. But so a good example is, like, this is the best example I can give you guys. When you first play Call of Duty. When you first play in general, if whether you suck or do bad, I literally hate that pistol. Whether you suck or do bad, you know, people judge you. They're like, all right, let's say you suck. Let's say you're playing eights. You've been playing eights for a couple days and you've been shitting the bed in almost every game. They're like, oh, dude, apathy sucks, right? You suck. Like, you're playing bad, so you, therefore you suck. That, that's the, the reasonable thing to say. But then you continue to play. You continue to play. You start getting better. And this, like... This pistol is better than the fucking specialist, dude. It's so annoying. But you start doing better. People are like, well, now now that you're doing better and you got him better, people just automatically soon, well, now you're just a joke. You are a warrior. You're not good. You're, you're joking me. That's the only reason why you keep killing me or you're beating me. That is everyone's mindset. And how, like, it's like, it's understandable to a certain extent. But what happened a week ago when you said I suck? What happened a couple days ago when he said I suck? I don't I don't get it. Wasn't wasn't I just wasn't don't I just suck? But once you start doing better, then it's like, oh well now the reason Oh you little fucker, he waved me. Now the reasonable thing to think is oh well now you're just a sick joke. Now you're a warrior. And it's the same thing. Like let's say you're screaming optic or because I'm saying optic because they have obviously the biggest fan base compared to any any Call of Duty team. But let's say you're screaming optic, right? And you start, you start doing, you do, you do bad in scrims one day. They're like, well, you guys fucking suck. You guys are nowhere near as good as I, I'm not saying this, that this happened to us. Well, in a way it kind of did, but it happens to everyone. Like, I'm just using this as an example. So before the optic fans come and hang me, but they say you suck. And you're like, well, you know what? Maybe we do suck a little bit. And what they're saying is true. We do suck at the time. We're not as good. We're not as prepared as they are. They're obviously a very talented team. So, but then, let's say two weeks later, you know, you realize you're sucking, you fix a lot of your mistakes, and you get better. Then you guys come to scrim them again. You know, you guys are scrimming them, everything is going pretty good, you guys are winning most of the maps, they only won a couple, you guys are dominating some maps, and it's like, and then, now instead of people going like, holy shit, NV is really good, you know what, they got a lot better, or this and that, people start going to the next reasonable thing, like the only way that that they can got they could have gotten better or start beating you is their jokes well envy's a joke oh john's a joke apathy's a joke how are they how are they how are like they so good they're just jokes and even there's like that's just like the ig most ignorant thing to ever say and it's it's just it's it's like it's plagued in the community everyone does it everyone says it i myself yeah you know i call people jokes sometimes but I like to give people their credit for the most part. Like I, it's pretty easy, you know, to tell the difference between someone being a joke and someone being good. And if someone's doing really good every single map, every single game on almost every host, you got to be just, you just got to see it. it's common sense, man. They're not just joking you every time. Like they're obviously just outplaying you and doing better than you. Like that should be your mentality. There's no way someone could be extremely good on every connection, every host, West Coast, East Coast, Central. Like, what I, like, a good example is West Coast players, right? I mean, there's obviously something called, you know, you could get a little bit comp lag. But 
Let's say, let's say West Coast players. Let's say, example, attach, Looney, Formal. Well, Formal is more like central because he lives it mostly in uh, the Optic House now. But let's say West Coast players like like them. They have so much pressure most of the time because they're playing on East Coast hills, and they're obviously at a at a decent advantage. Or I forgot Parasite as well. But when they start doing good on a fucking when they start doing good on the East Coast hills, almost every game. When you see a formal making the right plays, popping two pieces on a shitty connection or a three piece, or you see attach making just good plays and playing the map so well, like I know they're good. I'm not gonna sit here saying, "Oh, they're jokes." I mean, common sense is common sense. Like, there's, I just don't get it. Like, you can't win with this community. You can't win with anything. Let's say, let's say I do something amazing, right? I pop the crazy two-piece, you know, it's good shots, good plays, mainly good shots. I just hit all my shots, and then the player somehow just ended up missing, you know? He fucked up a shot, whatever the case is. Immediately, people go, dude, Apathy, you're a joke. I'm like, what? I just hit all my shots? Or, like, I remember, I remember, um, it was a 1v1 versus me and Slack. I did, in my opinion, I think I joked him a little bit. All right, I'm gonna go hunt down this side, man. These guys are gonna take on my whole team. Oh, or not? But it was a, it, I got it was not a one v one, but it was a one v one gunfight, and I ended up killing him. It was pretty it was pretty bad the way I killed him, but like I just like when you look at the clip or when you look at how I killed him, all I did was hit some crazy movement to make him miss a couple bullets, and I literally didn't miss one bullet. I hit every single shot that I fired. So why does that have to like? make me a joke right like yeah if there's you can tell people when people joke you or it could have just been a very good shot and with very good movement like you know what i mean like i don't understand why people there's just no there's just no winning with them jesus i just got another wraith well they're they're fucked but there's just no winning with the fans with the only people who truly believe you and give you the benefit of doubt or always trust you are your fans the fans that support envy or apathy those are my fans optic fans are a lot of them so majority of them obviously go with optic but like the only people who truly have your back and support you and like always there for you no matter what are your fans but the majority of people like to hate they are ignorant and they will say you know they will say oh you're a joke you suck you know the only reason you're good is because I'm online I can't wait you guys to beat optic you fucking you this is not, I'm not just saying to us because I know a lot of people are going to take this serious and be like, Apathy, you're talking about your event. But like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. God damn it, guys, die. Die, you pathetic fucks. All right, where are you, Mr. Scyther? Okay, I guess you died too, I'm assuming. Yeah, I'm assuming. But let's say you win an event. This is like pertaining to Rise as well. Let's say you win an event without Optic being, without you playing Optic. Oh. You guys are lucky you didn't play Optic. Oh, this you count this as an event? Oh, you guys suck. You're lucky Optic wasn't in Grand Finals. Like, all this shit, like, there's no winning. No winning at all with the fans. At the end of the day, they're always going to be right. And I got another Wraith again. Jesus Christ. But there's, there's no winning with them. There's no winning with anybody. Even pro players, most of the time, there's no winning. Like, and a perfect like, example, which frustrates me so fucking much. And this is going to be probably the last, like, two minutes of the video is... I'm going to give you two examples. First off, at the start of the game, I first grinded. Uh, obviously, I was on S, not SB. I was on, like, I was a team with Doug and all these people and Dito and Saints. Uh, we obviously didn't qualify. Uh, felt like we were under practice, just underperformed as a team at the qualifier. So, we didn't make it to Season 1. Whatever. It is what it is. I thought I played decently well and consistent throughout the tournament. But it happened. You know, we, we, just, we didn't qualify. So, then... Uh, end up joining Team Liquid. Um, you know, I, I was grinding my fucking ass off to get better. I was putting in an um, insane amount of time. It's more than almost any pro player was putting in. It was me and Study just putting crazy amount of time into the game. Because we wanted to get better. And we wanted to succeed in this game. So then, um, Team Liquid, uh, we started doing very well online in scrims. Uh, started shitting on people. In eights, I was shitting on people. And people just sit there, call me a joke, you suck, and all this. And I mean, it's understandable. I didn't make the league. You know, first thing you want to you want to do is put me down. You know, say I'm a joke, say I suck. Then every we go to South Carolina. I complete me and study, and I completely destroyed at South Carolina. I went off. I fucking destroyed a lot of people. 
you know, Complexity was one of the teams that kept calling me Joke, Nameless, and Parasite. When we went to South Carolina, I was literally world-starring them. I was making them eat their words down their throat. And it just showed that I just fucking put the time and I was good. Not that out of nowhere I sucked and then I got better. I just put in the time. That's all it was. And I got better. I improved. Like, people need to start immediately thinking, oh, you're a joke. That's why you're better. No, I put in the fucking time. That's why I got better. Same thing when I joined Envy. Oh, we play 7th through 8th in Anaheim. Well, maybe, like, you, when you play SPAD, it could be for a numerous amount of reasons. It's not just because you guys suck. And then, I was so pissed. I put in so much time. I grinded my ass off. I was destroying in 8s. I was destroying in scrims. My whole team was playing so well. And then we went to Season 2 playoffs and played exactly how we played online. Just because we got better. Like, put in the time, put in the hard work, and you will fucking get better. Like, stop making excuses. Stop calling people jokes. Like, at the end of the day, yeah, sometimes you might get joked, but everyone jokes people. And at the end of the day, everyone could, like, it's not all about connection, guys. Like, if someone's playing good, for the most part, he's probably is good. Unless he's having, like, a one-hit wonder every game, then maybe it's connection. But, like, gee, it's just, you can never win with anybody. Like, I, that's how it feels right now. But either way, guys. Thank you for watching this video. This has been your boy Apti. I hope you enjoyed today's live com. I really felt like I had to get this out of my chest. I thought it would be something good to talk about because I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys can relate. And you guys can understand coming from my perspective. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I, I don't know if I said that, but don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'm out, man. I'm out. Peace. Can't do this.